This is AIR. Artists in Residence Broadcasting. Coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, I'm John Cullum, and this is my wife, Emily, and we're going to do a um, video for you again. Today. Well, we're going to do a post for my blog, Em's Talkery, but I have a surprise for you. Well, what is that? Put on an outfit. Put on an outfit? An imaginary outfit. An imaginary Yeah, put on a hat, put oh. on earmuffs, okay. put on gloves. Let me see it. Come on. Oh, you you want to you wanna see the, the putting on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are now... These gloves are a little... We've got holes in them. Never okay. mind. We are right. aliens. Oh, and aliens. we are now going to enter this place, uh -huh. the Cullum place. We're going to scare the poo out of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't plan it. Anyway, poot is not a word that all our readers are going to understand. Poot. 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 No, no. Okay. So if we were an alien. Yes. And we were visiting America. Right. New York City. Of course. What would we think when we saw people, well, like for instance, with noses buried in their cell phones, when people are, like us, sitting in front of a computer and talking to a computer. Yeah, or watching television. Or watching television. And then what would those things on the screen be? What would you think if you were an alien? What would be the most surprising thing? Well, uh, John Cullen would be a surprising thing. Well, no, but I will tell you what I used to do uh, when in a long run, like in Shenandoah. Okay, okay. At the end of the first act, it would be lunchtime would be coming up, and I'd be thinking about lunch. But occasionally, I would look out at the audience, surreptitiously, and think, what if somebody came down, this is what I really thought, came down from outer space and saw these people all sitting in a big room watching somebody up on a platform uh, pretending to be somebody else and they would be laughing or applauding and what would that what would as you say an alien what would an alien think about that and that used to that used to be an interesting thing for me and I would usually do it while I'd be singing a big number what that's true. We thought you had huge concentration. No, no. We were talking about well, focus. That, that takes tremendous concentration to be able to think about something like that at the same time that you're emoting. Did, any, did it ever <laughs> an alien ever enter your theater while you were on stage? No, well, I had a I had a guy who was like an alien. He came up and I didn't know who he was. He came up and got on the stage with me. You've heard that. What story. was that in? What show? That was a, that was Death Trap. And I was trapped on stage with him. And what did you do? Well, he he got up on the stage, and this particular scene, I was supposed to have my hand caught in a in a desk and couldn't get it out. And I turned around and saw this guy sitting there, and I looked at the audience. The audience thought that it was all part of the show, and so I pulled my hand out, kind of shrugged my shoulders, and I stood up. And when I stood up, the guy stood up. And uh, he had in his hand a big, like it looked like a big sock full of of grain, like a, but it, it like you would have for feeding pigeons or something. And he started walking to me. He handed, he held it out, and he said, "Your bomb. This is your bomb." And I thought, holy. Monarchy, what is this? <laughs> You're my bomb. So I walked over to him and I put my arm around him. I said, Well, if that's a bomb, I said, We're going to stay real close together. <laughs> and uh, and I turned out, he, he was just a little guy and he he was very amiable. And I turned him around and we walked over to the, to the, to the side of the stage and I said, Out loud, would, would, some, would somebody come out here and help me with this gentleman? I thought I was talking to the stage manager, and I repeated it a little louder. Then I asked somebody, to come, one of the ushers, to come down. Nobody did anything. The audience was—you could hear a pin drop. Nobody believed that I was doing it because in Death Trap, I had fooled the audience two or three times. So they thought they were more fooling. They, they, they thought I was fooling them, and that they weren't going to buy into it. 
Finally, I heard these, this coming up the stairs, and the stage manager came over and opened the door, and he, he said, I'm so sorry, John, but this is the time that I, this, this is a seven-minute period where nothing happens, and I go down and get a cup of coffee. And I said, would you mind taking this gentleman off my hand? And he took him and went up. I went over and stuck my hand back in the, in the desk and went on. The audience didn't even, they didn't understand it until the end of the show. They were waiting for something to, to, to happen. But this guy was a nut from Bellevue. You hey, know, John, you had quite a life on stage. Yeah, well, I've had some pretty well, funny Well, you experiences. didn't answer my question about Alien, but I prefer this story. So, ladies and gentlemen and watchers, that's the post for today's blog. And we'll, we'll see you next week. Okay. With another story. This is AIR. See you next week.